Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Spin Cycle, the show for short reviews of music, new and old. And today I'm going to be talking about a band that I absolutely love. They're easily one of my top five favorite bands of all time. And the album that they released most recently, which was October of last year, I wanted to do a review then, but just, it didn't ha work out. But given it some time and many listens, now it's time to finally talk about it. The band is Clutch, and the album is Psychic Warfare, which was released on October 2nd, 2015. Clutch is one of the best bands out there, and I'm not just saying that as a fan, I'm saying that objectively they are one of the best bands out there. Not only because of their style, which is unique, it's a good mix of rock and blues and all different kinds of genres, but their business model as a band is renowned um, within especially the rock music community. They have their own label, Weathermaker Label, uh, Weathermaker Music, and since they've had their own label, they've released some of the best music that they've ever produced. Um, and having their own label and the style of business that they do gives them a lot more control over the music, their sound, all of that, as well as the band overall, their business, their touring, which is why you know Clutch can tour with bands like Mastodon and Lamb of God and still draw insane crowds, which in the last two concerts I've been to for them, that's exactly what they did. They've also been a consistent force in the rock alt metal scene since 1991, which includes a con constant lineup. The same four members have been in the band since 1991. Since then, they've also been quietly successful. So they had some success early on in the early 90s with their self-titled album, songs like Space Grass, which made some serious radio play. And since then, they've continually put out new music, continually put out quality music, and have been successful doing it. And especially with their new album, Everything just seems to be falling into place for them to get more renowned as not just who they are as a band, but the sound, the music that they're producing. Not to mention, it is hard to argue against Neil Fallon's voice. He has one of the best voices out there in rock and metal. So the album itself is Psychic Warfare. The way I look at it, this is a spiritual successor to Earth Rocker. It's a similar style stylistically. Um, it sounds pretty much the same as Earth Rocker in terms of what they're trying to go for in terms of sound, which is a lot faster, a lot more rock type of sound. And that's compared to, say, the blues sound that they had when they produced Robot Hive Exodus and From Beale Street to Oblivion, which, to be fair, those are two. Those are my two favorite Clutch albums with maybe the self-titled album in contention there as well. The other albums that they produced um, with Machine, who produced Earth Rocker as well, they all have kind of a similar sound, which is why albums like Blast Tyrant and Earth Rocker kind of sound like Psychic Warfare in that sense. When it was released, Psychic Warfare was their highest charting album in the U.S. to date. It made it as high as number 11 on the Billboard 200, which for a rock metal album is pretty awesome, not to mention number one on the rock and hard rock albums. So this is certainly a commercial success for Clutch as a band. Now, the album itself, is it a success for the band themselves? The songs are mostly energetic and short. They're, you know, they get to the point. They do exactly what this band has done for so long, which is play their style of music. You know, the lyrics, which are always, you know, one of the strengths of this band are definitely the lyrics. Neil Fallon writes some of the most creative and bizarre lyrics in the world, but it helps, you know, make their music so unique and so interesting. But the fact that the music is so energetic and short and rocky gives people, it makes it more accessible to a wider audience, which is probably why this album did so, has done so well for them. Not to mention, you have Tim Salt, the guitarist, who's you know, just a fantastic guitarist and has some more great guitar solos on this album, you know, especially in songs like Son of Virginia and Our Lady of Electric Light. Speaking of the songs themselves, here are kind of the highlights of the album. Um, X-Ray Visions was really the first single that they produced for this album. I remember hearing them play this before the album was ever released. They played it with uh, Mastodon, and that was just an awesome... It's, it's an awesome song because it's a crushing, like, hard rock anthem type of song. That's one that definitely gets people fired up, gets them ready to go. Uh, Firebirds, that one is just fast. It's fun. It's you know, kind of in the same vein as X-Ray Visions. The two of them are almost like, you know, the two songs that you feel like always go together. X-Ray Visions and Firebirds are those two songs. Then you got Behold the Colossus. That's just a, you know, it, it's one of the later songs on the album. Just a great, you know, song. Just a, you know, it has fantastic lyrics, good rhythm, melody, all that stuff. 
Sucker for the Witch, another great track that they have. It, this, this whole album is just full of great tracks. Sucker for the Witch, though, is another one of those just fun, like, weird songs that they have. It kind of reminds me of Once More Under the Breach from Earth Rocker or um, In the Wake of the Swollen Goat off of Blast Tyrant. So just fantastically fun song. Then you have something like Noble Savage, another, you know, great rock type of song. So much of this album is just quick, fast rock. That's, you know, something that Clutch has been good at in the past, but they've also been good at doing some of these more, like, groovy, slower songs, which this album doesn't have a lot of that. It's mostly this fast and fun, which you can't exactly discredit them for that. That's what the people want to hear. That's what gets people's, you know, blood going. You know, people absolutely love that. But they do go into some of the, you know, moodier, you know, elements as well. One of those songs is Doom Saloon, which isn't actually a song, it's like an interlude, but it's this kind of moody, twangy interlude. You kind of imagine it's like somebody walking into a saloon, you know, like in you know a Western movie or something, this would be the song playing it. Or this is like perfect for a Quentin Tarantino movie. And then from Doom Saloon, they go right into Our Lady of Electric Light. Like I said, is has just a fantastic Tim Salt guitar solo, but the song itself is kind of slower, a little bit darker song, but it just, it has that power in every aspect of it that you get from uh, Neil Fallon's voice when he's, you know, especially singing the refrain. My favorite song on the album, though, has to go to the final track. So even though X-Ray Visions is the single for this album, the final track is what, for me, just wraps this up in a bow and makes it absolutely beautiful. And it's Son of Virginia. Basically, this track is just, it's a slow, groovy song, but it builds so much, and it has such a, such a powerful sound to it. You can just, almost, you can hear the, you know, emotion behind Neil Fallon's voice, not to mention, you know, the rest of the band when they, you know, come in. It's got some great riffs to it. It's certainly indicative of what Clutch can produce. They can produce, they, I mean, this, this is a varied album. It's got everything from a song like Firebirds, to a song like Son of Virginia that just, um, they contrast one another and yet coming from Clutch they work so well. Overall, this album is certainly up there with Earth Rocker. Earth Rocker is not one of my favorite albums, but I actually feel like this surpasses Earth Rocker in a way. It seems a little bit more, it's pure, it's focused, it's just downright Clutch music. It's what we have come to expect from this band. That's not to say that they're boring, it's just to say that this is, when you get a Clutch album, this is what you hope to hear. You'll get more of the psychic warfares than you will Strange Cousins of the West. That's just what Clutch does as a band. They've been that consistent for um, getting close to 30 years. It still doesn't reach the heights of their best albums. I would still put their best albums in front of this, um, like their self-titled album, uh, Pure Rock Fury, Robot High of Exodus, From Beale Street to Oblivion. Those albums reached, I mean, those albums took Clutch into the stratosphere in terms of their abilities as a band and what makes them such a great band. So I don't quite put it up there with those great albums, but it it is vintage Clutch. It is Clutch in every sense of the word, and that's why I absolutely love this album, and I highly recommend it to you. If you are a Clutch fan, you should already have it. If you're not a Clutch fan, this is certainly a good way to get into it, but it's definitely the most accessible, but there's other albums that they have that will certainly make you a diehard Clutch fan like I am. So my top five for this week, I'm going to look at some folk metal fun, because I have been just obsessed with folk metal lately. Corpaclani, got to go with Hunting Song. That's just a great, you know, kind of old, kind of Corpaclani song. Just fun. It, it's what you kind of expect from these guys. Teresas, Battle Metal, that song is an anthem of all get out. That is folk metal anthem, if I've ever heard one. Eluvite, I gotta go with Slania's song. That's one that just, I, it's been on my playlist a lot lately anyway, so it's, you know, just a great, great song from um, a band that is pure folk metal. Amorphous, I'm gonna go with a song that isn't so much one of their more folkier songs, but it does have just a great folk metal intro, and that's Narrow Path off of Circle. Just it, it has that kind of fun little, like, flute, you know, intro to it. And then Enciferum, got to go with Descendants, Defiance, and Domination off of their most recent album, One Man Army. And I will be doing a review of One Man Army soon because that album is mind-blowing. Let me know what you think of Clutch's album, Psychic Warfare, if you've heard it. Let me know what you think. Thanks again for watching Spin Cycle, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.
Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to keep up on all of my YouTube videos by clicking subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you and you rock. Also visit my homepage at dkessner.com where you can find out about all my various other projects, including my written works. Hmm? How about that? You can also find me at my social media handles, so drop in and say hi. And again, thank you so much for all your support. Love you.